What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. We are down here. We're talking about Encore today. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let the people know you stopped by. We are down here. So, what's up, y'all? I was, um, I watched Encore actually twice this morning. I watched it just to watch it. Then I was like, should I take notes? But if I didn't take notes, the, the, the review wouldn't be as long as it is. Because when I take notes, I'll be trying to capture everything. And if I rely on my memory, you're not going to get all of it. <laughs> you're not going to get all of it. You know what I'm saying? Child, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let me let me know you stopped by. So we, we're down here, right? I don't know what this scarf is, go, what's, what it's doing, but it's going to have to do. It's going to have to do. Oh, ooh, ooh. I need to get my car washed. Okay. All right, Tyler. All right. So this is the episode where they have the listening party. We start off opening with Miss Keeley talking about the issue with counting lines. That I guess comes into play towards the end when Irish, um, when Irish was saying whatever she was talking about, right? Oh, I didn't bring my water. Okay. Isha and Pam got into it. I don't remember that part. I, I guess I didn't see that part. I, maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I guess um, Misha. Um, told Pam that she wasn't, you know, backing her up or whatever. So she kind of had a problem with that, right? Um, Misha says that she's sorry. And Fallon or Felicia says she doesn't know what's real anymore, the fight or the apology. Because every time Misha gets into it, all the little birds, um, every time Misha gets into it, then she ends up apologizing afterwards. So she was like, girl, I don't know what, what's real, the damn apology or the fight. Maybe she just wants to get it out and then she gets it, she does the most and then then she apologizes for how she maybe delivered it. Maybe she doesn't, I don't know. We, we will never know. Pam is talking to Aubrey. They're excited about who's all coming to the house. They don't know who's coming. Aubrey says, oh, I'm going to be so jealous if both of your bandmates come. I don't think that she expected anybody to come for her, quite honestly, um, which is kind of sad. And I think that probably lent to her feeling like, like, what is my place here? You know what I mean? Pam, like, I don't know who's going to show up, you know, because she cut everybody off. You know, when she had her come to Jesus moment, she cut everybody off. She blocked everybody. So she don't know who's going to come, right? I don't know what Pam says to Aubrey, but Aubrey responds with, you know, I've had my reputation dragged through the mud and I haven't said anything and I've taken some hits and, you know, I've sat back and not said anything. And then she was like talking about how she wasn't looking forward to the listening party because it was going to be whack it was going to be boring she's not happy with the way the songs sound um she said later that she feels like they could be more vocally produced um it just really just sounds like a bunch of people singing on a record so she said she's not looking forward to it so she's already setting it up that she's not gonna have a good time so she said she's also tired that she has to explain her i guess commitment or her focus but she's always needing to explain herself and she's just really tired of it and um she says um the twins have basically set themselves up to do everything and i think everybody has identified that to be truthful um and i think they're doing it on purpose i think they have something to prove i think they feel like they have something to prove and I know, I think a lot of women know what it's like to be in a male-dominated industry because most industries are male-dominated except for porn. <laughs> and so, um, and so, you know, <laughs> when you're in those types of industries, you do feel like you have something to prove and any resistance that you get you're like, this is my baby. I need to protect my baby. I'm going to have an attitude about everything. I want the song to sound a certain way. So that's what they're giving. And you could tell by the way that um, the twin is relating to Cosign. It's this thing like he doesn't respect me. And the way he's coming off, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Aubrey said if she has to be a ringleader to another thought. Girl, I was like, what is she talking about? <laughs> talking about aubrey is stupid as hell if i gotta be a ringleader to a thought 
And she said, we're going to end up with no hits like Cherish. They tearing each other up in the confessionals. They really are. So Sita comes out and she talks about the listening party. I really think that Sita is Taraji P. Henson. It really sounds like her. Does anybody else, does anybody know who it is who's actually doing the voice? It really sounds like Taraji. Anyways, so she's asking them, are they ready? Um, and then someone is mentioning how the twins, you know, they have positioned themselves to control everything. So, you know, this is going to be all kind of all on them. This is what I think Misha said. So I love Shamari and Nivea's hat. You know, Kyle Richards, she be wearing hats like that too on Housewives. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. So they're in the studio. They get down to the studio and they're talking about the order of the songs. Go Don't Leave is missing, right? And so they say Cosign has it. So they call Cosign and she's like asking him to send the song over. Why would you take the song? Anyway, like I, it doesn't even make sense why he would take the song. This is the studio and it's in the house. Where are you going with the... <laughs> why is any music leaving the house at all? That's what I want to know. One of the twins says this is a bad omen. And so, you know, they're kind of setting themselves up, which... It, they're setting themselves up to kind of like fail um, for the worst. That's what I hear in their voices, like Aubrey, um, Misha, uh, one of the twins. I think it was Felicia. Says that uh, Cosign wants to take the lead, but he doesn't have any follow through. And everybody thinks that Felicia's songs sound better. I actually think they sound better too. Um, I, I really do. I really think they sound better, especially it was like some kind of like, I don't know. It just sounded different. I was like, yeah, it sounds hella different. It sounds different. His his sounded dry. His sounded um like it just sounded dry and it's like that don't sound good. It did sound dry. I Felicia's song sounded better. I agree. What do y'all think? Anybody like Cosign's song over Felicia's song? I like Felicia's version of the song. His version of the song seemed like it, it something was missing, like it, he took something away from it. And maybe for him, taking that part away makes it sound better for him. But everybody else is like, ugh. So at the listening party, we see Javon, hey Javon, and Jazzy Faye. Um, Ronnie DeVoe, you know his old ass. He come in there with some flowers for Shamari. He actually brought everybody flowers, if you notice. I was like, are, is, uh, I saw that big bouquet in one hand, but then I saw like a little, like, you know, the, the lady that comes in the club with the little single roses. <laughs> she was trying to get you to buy a rose. <laughs> she be trying to get you to buy a rose and take a picture. I mean, they be getting their hustle on in the club. Do they still do that? Anyway, so he had all those flowers for them. I was like, that's nice. I love Keely's caftan. I do. 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 Anyway, um, so Kima shows up. Kima shows up and she gets right to it, baby. She starts telling Pam that I don't even know what's going on, girl. You know, I'm going to be here to support you. Girl, what's up? You see Nivia walk away like, oh, this is some group member stuff. Like, I ain't got nothing to do with this or whatever. So she was just basically like, girl, it doesn't, you know, I'm here for, I'm here to support you. I don't know why you left. It don't make sense to me that we have, we're not out here getting this money, but I'm here to support you, girl. <laughs> I don't want to upset you. She was like, girl, I don't want to upset you. So they start doing the songs. So the first song is, what's the first song? um talking no 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 not talking it was um skeletons first song was skeletons and they started they started playing the song and the girls were just standing there or whatever so jazzy faye ronnie and javon was like wait 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 everybody like girl why is he saying wait why are they saying wait girl this is just the beginning of the song what do we do <laughs> so it's like wait 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 Y'all got to perform the songs. Y'all got to perform with the songs. We got to feel it. We got to see what's going on. And I think that's a good idea, right? So Aubrey was like, obviously, we got two Beyonce's here. If they just two Beyonce's, they might as well just let us know that it's two Beyonce's in this group. So after they finished doing the song, um, Ron says that he can relate to the song. Me and my wife. She knows where the skeletons are. I know where her skeletons are. Ain't nobody pulling skeletons out of anywhere because we all, we all know where the skeletons are. And then Shamari shares with us that Ronnie DeVoe is a godsend. I, you know what? 
I really, I was like, they just really go together. Like, they really match. Ronnie DeVoe and Shamari DeVoe, they match. Like, they go together. And she's like, hype. And, and I want, how come they don't have their own show? I would watch a show. They got two little kids. How many kids do they have? Three? Yeah, I want I want to see Ronnie DeVoe and Shamari with a show. And, like, they need another show where there's, like, multiple couples, kind of like how Family Hustle had it. They fucked that shit up. They did. Because they really had, like, even though I didn't watch it, I thought it was a good concept to have, like, here are all my friends and their families, and here's what's going on in their families. Like, I really think that Ronnie DeVoe and Shamari needs to be on a show like that. Because I really like them together. I really like them. That's my baby forever, she said. I love it. Pam's song comes off, comes on. Aubrey's face. She's looking like... Child. I mean, making the worst faces. I was like, ugh, Aubrey. Aubrey was being real stank at the listening party. She really was. It was noticeable. I'm surprised nobody else said anything. It was noticeable. So after the song, Kima runs up and she hugs Pam. And then talking comes on. I was like, yes, that's my shit. Talking is my shit. Now, that's what they need to put out. Because it's like... You know, it's a bouncy song. It's a I, I like it. I like it. I like talking a lot. Nivea was doing her little performance. I was like, hey, Nivea. Excited. I love talking. That's the song that I really like the most out of all the songs. Aubrey has checked out. That's what the girls have noticed. They're doing Bird's Eye View. So Bird's Eye View comes on. Um, You know, everybody is excited about the songs that they did or whatever. Bird's Eye View sounds okay. Um, you know, Fallon or one of the twins kind of prefaces it with, you know, all this relates to all of us. We have all gone through our things. We all have our stories and blah, blah, blah. So then Kima goes and sits down with Pam and they're having their conversation. And she's just basically telling her the way that you cut everybody off, the way that you cut me off, that really hurt me. And you blocked me. You did all of these things. And, you know, Pam is like, you know, I did it to everybody. Everybody was trying to figure out what was, you know, what was up, you know, but I was hurt too. I go through my things too. I was hurt. She said, remember when you, <laughs> remember when you told us um, that she was Beyonce of the group? She was like, no, I don't remember that. She was like, yeah, you told us that girl. Why everybody want to be Beyonce? Everybody want to be Beyonce, honey. Everybody's a Beyonce of the group. We didn't mention Beyonce's name about five times in this one episode. Anyway, so... She said, my family didn't like it either. My family didn't like it, but, you know, I was hurt too, and I just needed to have my own path. I needed to go on my own path, and maybe, you know, one of the reasons why I'm here is so that you and I could, you know, reconnect and start the healing with us. Kima looks, she looks okay. She looks okay. I, I had seen Kima on, um, I think it was during quarantine. She didn't look so great, and I was like, ooh, what's going on with Kima? I don't know if she got into drinking or drugs or something like that, but that was like a year and a half ago, maybe. Um, yeah, I, I, cause I, I don't know. Do y'all remember that? It was like a, she was cooking or something. I was like, Ooh, Kima don't look good. She looked like she had a tooth missing or something. It was, she was not looking, she was looking, she was looking rough, but she looked nice here. Um, would y'all go and see Total perform? I would. I was emotional watching them, like, reconnect. I was like, because I love Total, baby. I fucking love Total. Aubrey and Stone are having a conversation, right? And I don't know what it is about women like Aubrey where you sit, as soon as you sit down, you start complaining about something. That, to me, I have a, pro I do have a problem with that. Like, let's just talk let's talk about the good things first let's use some positive language first and then we could talk about the shit that's not so positive but when as soon as we sit down this this producer was it was so nasty to me it's like you're looking for empathy or sympathy you're looking for sympathy and it's like girl why do you always have to position yourself for someone to have to be expressing sympathy towards you why? Why would it why is that the the program? I don't get it. I don't get it. Aubrey says this is not worth this sickness. I don't know what happened in the house. I don't I don't understand. Like I feel like I'm missing something maybe because I'm not there and so their reactions seem a little over the top for me. Based on what I've seen, I'm like this sickness. Why are y'all calling it a sickness? What happened in the house? You're you're calling it a sickness because you haven't been allowed to control the group. 
you're not feeling any of the music are they not taking your word so why don't you communicate that and sit down with everybody and say hey this is how i feel you want everybody to listen to you and be empathetic or sympathetic or whatever you want from people but then you're not sitting down and having a conversation saying, hey, this is how I feel. I feel like we could vocally produce these songs a little better. Like, I don't see the problem with that. And I don't see why you would call it a sickness um, as a description. I don't know. Anyway, so when Mila and 702, the rest of 702, I said Mila and 702. When Mila and um, the girls are at the... Um, you know, on the outside, you know, they're everybody's, you know, congregating and um, socializing and fellowshipping. Everybody's, you know, doing their thing. And so Mila and Irish and Misha are over to the side. And Irish got an attitude. She got an attitude and she was like, she like her whole face. She looked like she had an attitude. She was like, um, you notice who sang the most? <laughs> she was pissed. And then Mila was like, what? Like she, Mila was like, kind of like, what's going on? Oh, this is some house stuff. She was like, yeah, I noticed. She was like, but I didn't even sing. That was embarrassing. Like I didn't really sing that much. And then, um, she said, I only had about four lines. And then, so Misha goes, well, you know, not, not Misha. Mila goes, well, you know, I didn't, I couldn't tell who was singing what. There's so many of y'all. Like, she's kind of trying to downplay it or whatever. But I'm sure they noticed. And when they were doing their performances, you know, she was kind of in the back too. Like, her and Aubrey weren't really participating that much. So, she wasn't participating because she didn't have that many lines. I did notice that stone countertop that they were, it was the complete slab. It was like the counter that they were talking. I, I don't know why I noticed that. I really liked it. I liked it. It was so thick. Did you see it? Okay, never mind. Mila was like, well, hopefully everything works out. It's, uh, you can't tell that you guys are in conflict. The songs sound really good, right? So Aubrey was like, I'm tired of being cool and mediocre. I couldn't unify the group. It's not fun. I'm not being bossed around by no little kids. I was in a group that sold more than y'all. Put some motherfucking respect on my name. And she left. Bye, Aubrey. See you later, girl. They say Aubrey went to Dubai. What is that? Why did Aubrey go to Dubai? What is going on? She said she going to Dubai to live. What's going on in Dubai? Girl, I don't know. Keela, Keela, Keely, is that her name? Keely, she is talking to Nivea because she's looking for Aubrey. Where is Aubrey? Nivea kind of freaks out. She was like, girl, what? She was like, um, I thought I was going to be the one that wasn't going to like this. And I, you know, I was going to flee the scene. I love Nivea. She is hilarious. She says, but you know, with Aubrey leaving, can anybody leave? Like, cause that kind of made me feel like, can anybody leave? But yeah, you can leave. I mean, you are your own person. Nobody can make you stay anywhere. If you want to leave, you can get your ass up and leave too. Um, they're worried about Aubrey because they're like, we got to sing her parts. We got to take her out every song, every part she had, we got to take her out. So they asked Misha. Misha was like, well, what happened between yesterday and last night? What happened? Uh, Fallon was like, if it's not a, me a medical emergency, I'm not falling for it. It's too, too much drama. That's too dramatic for me. I hope she's okay. But if it's not a medical emergency, girl, I can't. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm good. I'm not falling for that. I'm too smart for that shit. Anyways, so Shamari was like, I thought she was cool. What happened? So Shamari seems like she's disappointed because, you know, she says, Aubrey, the vision that we're going with came from Aubrey. Like she has really been an integral part of the group. But, you know, why would you go? Why would you leave? Aubrey, she's talking to the camera. Why would you leave? Um, so they get down to the studio. Um, where's Cosign? Fallon goes, he don't even need to be here. <laughs> he doesn't respect me. He doesn't, I don't feel like I'm getting respect from Cosign. So Cinnamon, the choreographer, who I can't, I can't remember her name for the life of me. Um, and Cosign, they start playing the songs, right? Where has Cinnamon been? I want to know where has Cinnamon been and why isn't Cinnamon working with Irish and Misha and Aubrey? Why isn't she working with any of the girls? I haven't seen... Where when when does cinnamon come in? I anybody anybody know? Cause I, I, we haven't seen her work either. 
We have, we've seen a couple, I don't know, maybe just waiting for the final product, but we haven't seen nobody work. I, I mean, I barely see the choreographer work. Cosign, we barely see him work. Cinnamon, we ain't seen your ass at all. So what's T? So they're playing the song, Bird's Eye View. Shamari, she over there. He said, stop, stop it. And then he put the, put the other version on, right? Because that was the wrong version. And his he knows what it sounds like. So they played Felicia's at first. And then he stopped it. And then they played his. And Shamari's still dancing. She's still dancing to it. He goes, does, does she seem thrown off? And Felicia was like, what? Already with attitude. What? She was. He was like, does she seem thrown off? She was like, stop the song. Stop the song. She was like, what are you talking about? Does she, does she seem thrown off? She said, it's too much bass. It's too much bass. And, but I'm asking you, does she seem, does Shamari, does she seem, when she over there, she's doing all of this, does she seem thrown off? Felicia said, I'm trying to figure out when I gave a fuck. I said, oh. <laughs> what? Okay. She's mad at him. She's mad at him. And I know where it's coming from. I know where it's coming from. And I think a lot of people can relate to not feeling respected. In like a position where some other person comes in, no matter who it is. And it, it's really with men, but it doesn't matter who it is. And somebody comes in and is trying to play you, talking about my shit sounds better than yours, no matter who it is. You're going to be like, man, shut that. I don't give a fuck if she dancing to it or not. My shit sounds better. Shamari gonna dance to anything, first of all. She gonna, she, she just is like, I love it, whatever. We've been getting work done without you, cosign. You've been here, where you been? You figure you could just drop the shit off and when you're done, your work is done? He was like, yeah. She was like, and that's the problem. That's the problem. I gotta figure, when you leave, I'm still down here working. I'm still working on this stuff. So, what's up? relax keely says don't tell women to relax do not do that don't do that i'm not with that shit right later he called i think he called um keely shorty and she was like don't call me fucking shorty like don't do that stuff and i don't know why y'all like to do that it's a way to pacify and like relax don't tell people to relax don't tell people to calm down because all it does all it really does is the opposite of what you're asking them and and it's passive aggressive right you want to act like you're so calm and cool and collected and she's oh you gotta relax no don't don't try to play me by saying is she thrown off shamari gonna dance to anything i don't give a fuck what shamari's dancing to my shit sounds better y'all better check my wikipedia Y'all better. Kelly was like, don't nobody give a fuck about your Wikipedia, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> and we ain't measuring dicks around here because I got BDE, honey. I got big dick energy. So what's up? What are we doing? <laughs> I'm the producer of this house. I'm the producer of this house. And they were like, no, you're not. Felicia is the house producer. What's up? <laughs> Coast, I was looking crazy. Um... She said it's not done when it's not done until I say it's done. When I'm done, then the record is done. Baby, they was getting in Cosine's ass. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He was looking stupid. You better check my Wikipedia. Girl, don't nobody get, you anybody can put some shit on Wikipedia. <laughs> Anyways, wait a minute. Was that it? I think that was it. Let me see. Yeah, that was it, y'all. So what did y'all think about the episode? What y'all think? They're gonna get they gonna get into uh Cosine's ass next week. I can't wait. Cosine, you so cool to check my check my Wikipedia. Nigga, you check your Wikipedia. You make sure it's right. And you got everything some uh, uh every your <laughs> and your sources are cited. Shit. That was so funny. They were not, but like I understand, like the twins are a lot. 
But you got to understand, like, when you're going up against somebody and you feel like they're not respecting you for your craft or they feel like they can do what you do better than you and you know you're good at what you do, you're not taking no shorts. You're like, you're not saying nothing to me crazy. I don't give a fuck if Shamari is dancing or not. My shit sounds better and you're mad about it. You don't want to come in here with an attitude. I don't have an attitude. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And you coming up here and you're not working. You you want to be the leader, but you do but you don't have no follow through. Oh. <laughs> Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace.